but we will see an undead versus orc. And I think Seek's more comfortable against undead than human, so this might benefit our orc player more. Although I don't know what metagame prefers. He actually doesn't have games as undead right now, so maybe he is human, but he just elected to play undead instead. So maybe I was right in thinking he was human, just that he didn't actually go for it. Not sure. Anyways, we see a um, ghoul opening. Now, I believe you're actually supposed to not queue this acolyte up. Otherwise, there's no point to both of these at the start. You're supposed to uh, not queue the acolyte, make a zig first, and then make the fifth acolyte. Because otherwise, you might as well just make the crypt plus zig first, and then the altar next. Rather than sitting here not being able to produce anything, right? Okay, this is different. It's actually going to be like a fast DK creep build, maybe? We'll see what his hero is. But he doesn't have a shop set up yet either, which is awkward timing. But yeah, you see his altar up for so long without being able to build anything. Okay, so it is... It is a ghoul build, I guess, with a Grip Lord, but for some reason he put up a graveyard as well, and an early graveyard at that. Seek, on the other hand, is going the Farseer Headhunters, which was probably to be expected. It's definitely his favorite right now. And does have a second burrow as well, so looking to get couple extra headhunters early on and put pressure probably. Yeah, metagame is continuing to go ghouls, but I really feel like this build could have been a lot more optimal without the graveyard. It's almost like he doesn't realize you don't need graveyard for sacrificial skull or something. I thought maybe he was just going to do a, a switch into like a fiend build instead now, but it is actually just crypt lord ghouls and probably expand eventually. But yeah, the, the graveyard's been unnecessary so far. It hasn't got him anything other than a set of corpses for his beetles, I guess. <laughs> uh, table? Which table? Booster's active, right? That's what you mean? Or are you looking for like the bracket or something? I could link the bracket. But yeah, I'll, I'll link it when there's a, a lull in the action. But right now, we got six beetles out. So he got some value out of the graveyard just in making beetles. However, I don't think you necessarily want to purchase a graveyard just to have corpses. It seems like a bit excessive. Yeah, we're going to see some defensive play. The undead can brute force some of this creeping if he wants, because his army is not weak. He just has to be a bit careful with uh, pulling stuff back in time. And this tower is actually a pretty decent position as well. As we saw, it managed to hit the farce here once there. So if the orc ever has multiple units passing through this passage, one will end up likely getting slowed. See, the orc actually got the creep steal there. Looking to put in some damage. Gotta watch out for this ghoul. It will die pretty quickly now that the headhunter count's actually quite high. And our undead kind of just needs to be careful at this point. Uh, I think ideal for the undead is actually to let the orc steal one of these creeps. But in the meantime, get your own creep. Maybe venture over to the gold mine. Or, you know, 
most camps are kind of available for the undead at this point with this many beetles. Yeah, we see some nice focus fire with these headhunters and the beetles dropping quite quickly. Metagame, not really getting much done. He has zero XP so far. Already used quite a bit of beetle mana and a couple rod, uh, a couple rod uses as well. And the Farseer, on the other hand, does have 68 XP gained, uh, like 20 from a creep, I think, and then like 48 from uh, little summons. So definitely in favor for our orc player, especially with the Crypt Lord taking a lot of damage here. I don't think he'll have to TP, but he will probably have to buy a Ritual Digger. Oh, he might have to TP now. His, his own ghoul plus the wolves kind of blocked him there. Yeah, we do see the Force TP. That is huge for our Orc player. Being able to get rid of that as well as have damage on the Crypt Lord severely limits the Undead's ability to move out on the map. And we should see the Orc kind of take advantage of this now, just keeping the Undead locked up. Uh, orc in the meantime can also try to snag whatever remnants there are at some of these creep camps. He could take this, he could finish that. Um, yeah, he is going to creep this. I do think maybe he could have used something, maybe one of his wolves, to kind of spot where the undead was going. Possibly even cancel the ritual dagger. But it's still decent for our orc player. Obviously, he's level 2 already, has quite a decent head under count. He's on the way to tier 3 with a totem as well. Uh, Farseer comes in, has to watch out for Impale though. Ooh. Decides to back off. Oh, now the Impale. And, ooh, a little, a little slow on the surround there. Farseer does get out. Level 1 Impale is pretty short on its uh, stun duration against heroes. So you gotta be... You gotta be really ready to get that surround, uh, surround closed. And it's a lot easier with ghouls, as opposed to like beans, which are pretty slow and... You know, not as... Not as big in numbers. <laughs> and our undead player adding in a slaughter and a DK second. DK will help a lot once you get uh, Coil and the Aura going. Are under attack. Orc on the mean in the meantime is just creeping his second hero. He has a TC, almost level 2, while his Farseer just kind of poking around, trying to slow the undead. Uh, yeah, we see our undead player moving out to the bottom right gold mine. This should be a decent chunk of XP. I'm not quite sure the exact amount, if that's level 3, or if he still needs like one more creep somewhere. Yeah, our orc. Already 2.5, 2.6 on the TC. So, pretty good shape for him. Metagame is on the way to tier 3 as well. Needs to be a little careful with his Crypt Lord. He tanked a bunch there, and his DK is only just now arriving. He should be fine, because it's only the Farseer, but... He will be taking a bit more damage. Seek is feeding one of these wolves though, and every bit of XP helps a lot for the undead right now. He really wants to start reaching level 3 on both of these heroes. Yeah, Seek managing to get to the center. Uh, might even stomp here, but uh, it looks like he can just do it fine enough without the stomp as well. And yeah, with, with this headhunter count, you can really just put in a lot of damage and creep big camps like that pretty early. Undead moving out a bit. Arseer kind of sees it, but doesn't want to tango. <laughs> Ends up just kind of hiding in the back there. Uh, looks like the wolves scouting to see if there's a uh, potential expansion. There is not. It's just a Blight Skull used. There is an Acolyte nearby though, so maybe he's considering it. A player's forces are under it's a bit hard for him to do because he's also going tier 3. Like it's, it's pretty expensive to afford all of that at the same time. <laughs> but we might see him put a Ziggurat. However, the wolves do spot the Acolyte. Uh, and they still have quite a big, 
uh, quite a bit of duration on them, so they can probably kill this Acolyte, especially if it's not sent to run. Acolyte does fall, so no expo for the undead. I doubt he'll set it back up again, because at this point the orc army is getting close to uh, being uh, fight ready. He might set it up, especially if he sees the orc also X point. But this army is pretty scary. One damage upgrade, Berserker, TC level 3, Farseer also almost level 3. Just needs one more creep. Uh, Undead did hit level 3 on his Crypt Lord, but still needs to find enough for his DK to get up. He'd really like to get that level 2 coil online. It helps a ton. Uh, Farseer as well. Needs 8 XP, but it shouldn't be too hard, especially with uh, potentially just unsummon, or not unsummon, uh, disenchant right at the start of the fight on like some beetles or skeletons. Could just pop in the level 3. Yeah, we see our undead going in. He will be able to cancel this tower. But this is not a fight our undead player wants to take right now. He's got four fiends. Without orb. Um, his third. Okay, he has orb and third hero now. Okay, now with this, uh, <laughs> with these reinforcements coming in, our undead can actually take the fight. Because that is a lot of stuff coming in. Uh, That's the bracket in case people are interested in looking at it. But yeah, Arseer does reach three off this creep. And our orc player is pretty well set up. Um, a player's force is on would be nice if he had a closer shot. Okay, we see an impale coming out. Hits a decent amount, but usually you want to be getting some more damage in with your actual units during the impale. DK getting focused, very nice to get him out of the fight. But another nice impale coming out, and this time the undead army is putting in a bit of damage here. TC also gets a very nice stomp in return. We do have a mana potion on the Crypt Lord. Third impale coming out, a hitting a bunch again. With the next Nova plus impale, we might start seeing some of these headhunters fall. But a heal scroll was used to heal them up a bit. Uh, they're getting a little low, but honestly, the Headhunter line is holding strong and the Lich falls. TC hits 4, still has an invuln plus 2 more stomps. Does get a stomp to hit like all of these, but the Burrowed Fiends don't actually get like stunned. They just take a tiny bit of damage. Uh, we do see a Destroyer morphed. It does immediately get picked off though. But our orc player really needs to probably back off and get a heal scroll here. Okay, he did get a heal scroll. Does pop it right away. TC is still a little weak, but there is a level 3 DK now on the field. And that level 2 coil might allow for our undead player to get some nukes off. However, he needs to be a bit careful here. Uh, our orc player was focusing the death knight. And now it's just kind of up to the crypt lord here. And he just can't do enough by himself. You really need that Orb of Corruption support. And preferably your Death Knight's Aura in range. Death Knight getting focused, a little misplaced. I think metagame kind of lost track of him. And calls the game. Seek taking the 1-0 on Autumn Leaves. I think uh, I think Seek kind of just got the advantage early. Uh, Meta games build a bit slow at getting anything done. Probably should have uh, um, not got the graveyard and been able to creep a bit, like force some creep camps sooner with ghouls plus. Uh, Uh, rod and skeletons and so on. 
Uh, where the hell is TN? Yeah, it is 104 seek now. I see 1G. I assume it's from seek. So, waiting on metagame to be ready. And here we go, game two. Interesting to see Twisted Meadows still left in the pool. I feel like this isn't a very good map for Undead against Orc because you can get caught a lot in the mid game against, against Raiders. But maybe he feels confident in being able to expand right away with Crypt Lord. Um, so it'll be up to Seek to be able to scout properly. I do know Seek oftentimes does send out a Peon Scout. Oh wait, Twisted Meadows is actually forced crossspawn now, isn't it? Or is that only... Is that only in ESL and not on W3 Champions? I don't actually know. But I saw something about it being forced crossspawn. And it is crossspawn. So... I don't know about that. Someone would have to tell me if it is. I know they have forced crossbond Twisted Meadows on in the ESL Cup stuff, but I'm not sure if it's also W3 Champions that's like that or not. I would assume it is. And that's probably why I seek sending a peon straight across. I don't actually play this map myself, so I don't know those things really. Yeah, we see the same build coming out from metagame. I do think this build can be refined a bit. He doesn't really need the early graveyard and um, I think he's been making both acolytes before the ziggurat which means his hero is slow anyways. Like his hero could be just as fast if he made the zig before the altar instead and then he could have his ghouls even faster i believe so definitely some refining that could be done with metagame's build order but we'll see if he, we'll see if he can uh, get done what he wants to get done here i assume he is going to try to expand again but seek on the other hand is going farseer headhunters and will look to harass uh, let me update this Oh, I forgot Booster. I had Booster on, but I didn't have it on my... On my um, stream. I loaded the program before the first game, but I forgot to enable it to be visible again on the stream. Whoops. Oh, we have Booster for the second game now. Sadly, did not have it active for the first. I could see it on my screen, but <laughs> the viewers couldn't, so that feels bad. But yeah, we do see Brass again. And now, now that Seek's already here, it's going to be quite hard for metagame to get much done. He will likely kind of just camp around for a while until he gets a big enough army. He is going earlier fiends this time, rather than uh, a lot of ghouls. I think that'll probably work out better here. Headhunters can be quite tough to go ghouls against because of how fast how fast you can lose a couple headhunters before you even reach or how fast you can lose a couple ghouls before you even reach the headhunters. So fiends can help with that because fiends you know won't just die before they get hit. <laughs> well, we do see maybe one wolf kill. Okay, wolf going down. Metagame does get the XP, tries to get another wolf, but Seek's Micro is that one out in time. 
And yeah, it's just kind of going to be a dance for a while. Yeah. It's going a little bit back and forth. Third burrow on the way. Tech almost halfway done for Seek. And a quarter done for metagame. Fiend production continues. We have seen two rods used already. I think he could really play even a little more passive and like not be using these rods and stuff. But I mean it's okay. Or what he could do actually, maybe what metagame could be doing is sending these three ghouls plus a rod charge and creep like the green on the side while his Crypt Lord stays over here and distracts the Farseer. That could be good. You know, a little split creeping. Because ghouls can run out pretty quickly as well. Yeah, we do see metagame going to start really getting some creeping here. Uh, Acolyte being focused. There is a cold tower, but it's a little far away. And metagame should be able to get a lot of these creeps because now his army is actually decently strong. He needs to be a little bit careful with taking too much damage though. Headhunters have put in quite a bit already. That one fiend, very weak, and he actually TPs out. So, definitely not ideal for metagame. You really would have liked to save that TP there. I think he didn't notice the headhunter soon enough because he was watching the acolytes. And he did actually lose one of the acolytes as well from the wolf harass. So good job by Seek to uh, split metagame's attention and get something done in his base at the same time as harassing his army. And now he's stealing one of metagame's creeps. Gets level 2. Metagame, on the other hand, trying to move out again, but his army is still pretty weak, and we have a large headhunter count now. We do see Impale first, putting in some decent damage. Does get one headhunter out of it, so not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and a Lich second. That's quite interesting. Uh, you definitely want Lich against headhunters eventually, but usually it's third like he did last game because you also need Death Knight plus Coil and Unholy Aura to give you your move speed and your healing. Okay, we see a bit of split creeping here from Seek where his TC going to creep the gold mine while his Farce here harassing with wolves. Tries to get a cancel on the slaughter, just not enough damage though. And actually the wolves feeding a little bit of XP. Good pickoffs by metagame. But now it's up to metagame to find somewhere to go. Needs to not get too distracted from this Farseer, although it will definitely be annoying because he will just summon another set of wolves and come in to harass likely. How far is metagame going to go? Oh, he wanted to creep the orange, but Seek actually already took that. Now metagame, a little unsure of where to go, sees the Farseer again. Good multitasking by Seek. Already finished the gold mine. Farseer still keeping tabs on the undead army. And TC heading in to creep the big shop. Probably will stomp this one. Yeah, it does stomp this one. It is a difficult camp, so using a stomp there quite wise so you don't take too much damage. And yeah, we see Seek coming to go uh, coming back in with his Farseer. Do it does a little bit of chip damage. We do have Burrow for metagame though, so fiends quite safe here, but over time this Farseer Harass will do a lot of extra damage because of metagame always having to switch his focus between the creeps and the Farseer slash wolves. And I do believe, yeah, it should be the Crypt Lord and the Lich who got the XP for that, as well as the items, so good for metagame. But the TC is level 3 and has Bracers plus Talisman of Evasion. And Berserker has finished Seek in a very good spot. Um, might be picking up a Tiny Great Hall here. 
has his peons already moving out. And yeah, this is looking great for our orc player. I'm not sure how metagame is going to come back into this. But maybe if he can get his heroes leveled up pretty quickly. You know, if you start reaching level 3 Crypt Lord, level 3 Lich, the AoE damage from Nova and Impale can do quite a lot against Headhunters. Uh, yeah, the ping should be equal. It should be US Central, and they both had around 62 in the first game, and something similar in the second game. But yeah, Seek doing a good job here. This will also open him up to 50 food, and he can start pushing with uh, some more units, or pushing out some more units. TC almost level 4. The sacred text left behind from long ago. <laughs> and Vamp Aura for our undead. Definitely not ideal. I mean, he does have skeletons and technically has beetles, although he hasn't really summoned any. But Vamp Aura is not particularly useful for those. And we see a Dreadlord third. So he's ignoring the Coil and the Unholy Aura and instead just getting mass AoE, I assume, with like carry on. I feel like if you're going to get a Dreadlord third, you could, however, just get like a Panda third instead. Because you don't have Coil anyways, so you don't really need it to be an undead hero, right? Yeah, Seat going in, putting in some, in some damage. Metagame does have a TP though, and does TP in before that Zig falls. Pretty nice to keep that Zig alive. Uh, especially with his other one coming up now, he will be able to break to 60 soon. And we do see carry on. Like I was saying, I think maybe if he's going to do this sort of strat, Panda would probably be better. Haze plus Breath of Fire could be quite a lot of value and metagame I do believe just scouted this with like a beetle or something yeah and he scouted the other one now too I saw the peon unburrowing yeah TC just getting lots of levels keeping the farseer back doesn't even care to get level three a second ruined bracer and this TC is <laughs> what is this dude Belt, Periapt, Bracer, Talisman of Evasion? How are you gonna kill this dude? Oh my god. Watch him get like the Cadgar's Periapt thing or whatever. Oh, just ring plus five. That's definitely the worst. Very bad item. <laughs> I would usually sell, or I would always like sell this for gold pretty much. Because the gold you get from it can buy like a circlet or something anyways and still have extra. Yeah, we do see metagame trying to hit a timing here. Uh, his levels aren't particularly great though. Would have liked to see level 3 Lich first. But he did take out tower, he took out a burrow. And Seek does have a TP but still withholding it for some reason. I was thinking maybe he's going to try to get level 5 real quick with like the green camp, but he's just kind of running around. Is he like... Does he have like music playing and he's not hearing this? Your gold mine's under attack, dude. What are you doing? Metagame just gets like a free kill. I think Seek wasn't paying attention. Did he notice now? No, he's still just creeping. What are you doing, dude? There's no way that was right, because Seek definitely could have fought this. I mean, his TC was more, like 1 XP from 5. He had tons of tanky items, he had heal scrolls. So it seems like a bit of a mistake. Metagame does leave his statue. Picks up Ghoul Frenzy now. A little late on that Ghoul Frenzy, actually, but it will help in the long run. Uh, does need to send his ghouls back to home though, because he's starting to lack on wood. Seek, on the other hand, starting to produce here. 
I'm not sure. Maybe see, maybe our orc player didn't feel confident because uh, I believe he hadn't actually uh, broke yet. Like still at 50 food or like not far beyond 50 food. But honestly, that orc army looked extremely scary. I think he just didn't want to TP in and then find out that he gets like super impaled plus nova and like just takes a ton of AoE damage. Yeah, if our undead player can start uh, feeding this dreadlord some XP, getting him to level 3, he could start getting quite strong with triple AoE spells. The headhunter count will die quite quickly and then... Um, and then you can use corpse removal through rod and beetles to make sure that these tauren don't get revived. You just gotta be quick enough, I guess, to get your uh, corpse removal off first. And he is very nicely giving the Dreadlord solo XP. Uh, I don't believe this is level 3, but it should be close. Like maybe 50 XP off. I think. Or maybe like 20 XP off or something. See, going into the main base of metagame. Dreadlord, actually 6 XP off. He does have a TP though. He does have an A-bomb. He has Frenzy. So... Our undead, ready to attempt a fight. Level 5 TC, definitely scary. Actually has the orb on the TC, just so he has uh, the ability to attack air, I guess, rather than Farseer having it. But yeah, Seek looking to just kind of contain for now. He does have an expansion that finished. A couple peons being lazy. But yeah, we do see some spells coming out here. Still would like to get level 3 on this Dreadlord, but needs to get some pickoffs. But this stomp against oof, those ghouls, and this is the problem with ghouls in the late game. One stomp and they're just all dead. Four ghouls died instantly. Fiend's starting to get target now from the stomp. Do see another decent impale coming out. But our undead player just hasn't managed to get his AoE on the backline much. Cryptlord dropping low, has to TP again. Did actually have another TP. Yeah, our undead has not actually killed anything so far. His dreadlord has not gained any XP, still only a level 2. And that's the problem. You need this AoE to get on the back line, but there's just four Torrens and a level 5 TC up front that's putting in a lot of work. Loses a destroyer. And actually a decent play by just TPing out. He's pretty much done his damage, so no need to overextend. And instead, he's just going to get some salves, probably get a clarity on this TC, and then hit again. He has kind of reached his, you know, 80 food army, has an expo up, so he's in good shape. But yeah, just playing it safe, get some extra mana. Uh, I would probably like him to pass one of these bracers. Yeah, he does. Actually, right as I'm saying it. Finally organized his inventory for that. Personally, I would have sold Quell for loss as well. I don't think the agility is particularly useful on Farseer. But, yeah. And I would have sold Ring plus 5. There's no way this is worth. I'd rather have this circle here. Because uh, it actually sells for a decent amount too, I think. Yeah, our Undead player... Buys another TP and goes to um, the gold mine at the top left, but it's going to be an actual, an actually pretty awkward timing for him because Seek is going in right at the same moment he engaged, and our undead is going to be very sad about that. Uh, we'll likely have to see our undead player finishing this camp. Uh, he would like to TP right away, but... Okay, he is actually TPing right away. Would have really liked to get that uh, item. I think it's a summon from the corners, right? I'm not actually totally sure what the corner camps are anymore on Twisted, but I think it's a summon unit.
Yeah, our undead player has reached 333, so quite a lot of AoE damage. If he can manage to get that on like the walkers or the headhunters, he can actually kill quite a lot. And then if the if the torrens are primarily against air units and um, like frost towers and stuff, you could see metagame start to pick stuff off. But honestly, this orc army is huge. He brings in the sapper, blows up some zigs. There's not much. Well, might be able to save this. Seek a little slow to actually finish that ziggurat. And metagame TPs again. That is a lot of TPs expended. We do see a bunch of AoE coming down. Oh, that headhunter count. And Seek actually lost like six food there real quick or something. I think he lost like six food. But our undead is still not in a great spot for sure. Uh, his mine here did get cancelled because he had to TP out. I'm actually not sure if he cancelled it or if it got destroyed. It might have actually got destroyed because he didn't finish the camp and it was still building. Yeah, Seek wisely TPs out right away. Don't want to get, you know, too overwhelmed by that AoE. But it is still really difficult for our undead. He needs some statues, and without Unholy Aura or Coil, this A-Bomb needs maybe Cannibal Eyes even. Looking quite awkward for the undead. Will be interesting to see if Seek just keeps pushing, maybe even purchases more sappers. Uh, he could try to just kill the Citadel, which would be huge. You know, buy two sappers. Speed scroll your army in to attack the Zig and then have the Sapper sneak by on the Citadel or something. Looks like he might be positioning for the lab, but I believe he was spotted. The Undead army is very weak, still no Slaughterhouse either. Has purchased another TP actually. Got the Stone token which will help a bit. And A-Bomb going down from that chain. Some nice AoE here. We do see a lot of damage taken on these orc units. A couple headhunters falling. Torin also falling. Uh, Stomp is very scary, but you know you gotta watch out for these frost towers. Oh no, purge orb. Oh no, save that dreadlord. Dreadlord managing to get out. Get out. Buy some heal potions. Does get safe. If we can see a boulder toss, very nice boulder toss. Getting the Torin. Should be able to pick this off with like a Nova. Goes for an Impale on the Headhunters. Another Carrion Swarm. Another Nova. And Seek's army is starting to drop quite low. He has no heal scroll either. And we might see Seek back off again. Metagame has like 30 less food. But is holding in his base with the triple AoE. And the triple Frost Towers. And he has an expo up at the top left now. Dreadlord needs to be very careful. Looks like he's going to try for a Zeppelin. TP coming out from the Crypt Lord. Maybe could have just brought the Dreadlord in instead. Oh no. Oh no, Dreadlord, you're stuck. You have no gold. Does he get a kill? He does get a kill. And because it's a Dar Orb of Darkness kill, this Torrent can't even be revived, right? I'm pretty sure he can't revive because the Orb of Darkness consumes the corpse. And Seek's like, what is this? Why can't I revive my Torin? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's thinking. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, something that most players maybe don't realize. Things like Black Arrow, Incinerate, Orb of Darkness. They will consume corpses so that there is none, nothing to revive. And oh, we did see a reveal here. Seek knows about the gold mine in the corner. And he has set up a ton of expansions for himself. So looking to just kind of mine out the undead. Do see a Zeppelin. He does have a TP as well in case anything goes wrong. 
would be really cool if metagame's gargoyle spotted this and just picked off the zeppelin over the water because i think he made a guard or he was a he was starting to at least but yeah i don't see the guard so maybe he canceled it yeah see does find the gold mine we'd see a mass unsummon here and now i'm not sure where metagame goes from this point he needs his dreadlord back but he also needs like a slaughter plus some statues and then he needs to also get an expansion somehow but farseer is almost level five and farseer will be able to get level five after like any creep camp so once that happens and level three wolves come out it's going to be incredibly hard to ever expand again against an orc because those wolves will just always spot everything they can go around invis and they deal a ton of damage so they can actually cancel expansions by themselves miss the wanda mana stealing wait comes back for it Yeah, good fight by metagame though to like um even with such a huge disadvantage armory wise he's actually been able to kind of fight seek off with his uh triple aoe we might see an engagement here though seek coming in and our undead's hope is really just level five heroes plus trying to fit in some statues maybe he does actually put up a slaughterhouse, so likely going to try for statues. But there are Wyvern now, on top of level 3 wolves. And a TP has to come out on that Lich. Not looking good for our undead player. Could even see Seek mix in like a Shadow Hunter or something. There is even still some creeps left, particularly the corners. Not that he should need him, but it is an option if things get crazy. And Metagame de decides to call it. Oof. Metagame put up a real fight there, though. It was looking crazy when he was getting all those AoE spells off on, uh, on Seek's backline rather than the Torrents. You saw how quickly those Berserkers could fall. Um, I think I would have preferred if he's going triple AoE to see maybe like a panda though. Uh, Cryptlord, or I mean, uh, Dreadlord still not bad. Carry on Swarm is strong. But if you don't have something like Coil, you don't necessarily need triple undead heroes. So you could see a panda instead. Haze also pretty useful with um, the mischance. But yeah, Seek just had uh, too much of an advantage early, kind of kept metagame contained most of the time, and metagame expended a lot on TP scrolls. I think at some point, um, as the undead, you, you almost just have to take some risks and not have a TP scroll. It's, it is, of course, you know, sketchy. It is a risk, but... All that 350 gold over and over on TPs can be quite expensive if you're not, if you don't have like a second gold mine or if you're not getting enough kills to warrant TP usage. Uh, I don't think he went sleep, he went um, carry on plus Vampara. So his goal was just to get mass AoE and then just has the aura because he doesn't want to spend mana elsewhere. Sleep definitely could have had some use on the TC. There was walkers to disenchant it, so maybe it wouldn't have been that great, but it definitely could have been okay. 